Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So this is the start of a little mini series that we're gonna do on this channel where I go through my sticker organization. So I've mentioned it a few times now for weeks that I had my stickers pretty much strewn like all over my office. I had a drawer just stuffed full of stickers and like I get a sticker order and I just like put it in there and then I'll deal with it later as far as organizing. And then I also had a stack in my closet of just like stickers that needed to be organized. And so clearly my sticker organization was not working for me. So I finally decided to go back to my old style of sticker organization. So there are actually videos on this channel of this sticker organization. It's kind of the same basic concept, but obviously I think that video is like four years old now. So I definitely have updated my stickers and things like that so yeah I'm I'll probably leave them linked down below in case you do just want to watch them but they're really long and I decided for this time around we're just gonna kind of like take it one piece at a time so in this video in particular we are going to be looking at my everyday sticker binder because this is the most important binder in my stash and if you like to use stickers in your planning or journaling then I think you should have this binder so yeah basically I use the Avery mini half size binder with an inch wide spine I want to say this is the durable one and there's an the reason I use this one is because the pockets are just like regular pockets. They have another one that is like a pencil pouch on the front pocket and I don't like it. And then also this one, it's just a minor detail but it is more important than I realized. This one has like a texture to the front. So if you put like a sticky note on the front for instance, I know this from past experience, the sticky doesn't like stay on the binder. But on the other ones, the ones with the sticker pouch in the front, the like sticky from the post-it note is just there forever. So yeah, I'm going to leave all of my supplies linked down below so you can actually just go directly to the one that um, I actually buy. So, so other than the binder, I use my silhouette to make an everyday binder decal out of vinyl. Um, I have noticed specifically with these binders that if you use vinyl other than the Oracel, Oracle, I don't really know how they say it, but anyway, if you use the Oracel or Oracle 651, um, it will stay. If you don't, it might fall off. I walked into my office one day and like half of my letters were gone. You couldn't even make out what binder was which binder and all of the letters were on the floor. I do have seven binders total. Two of them are just purely shop related and they're for like videos or pictures or whatever. All the rest of them are just like a mix of different stickers, but we're not here to talk about those today. We're talking about my everyday binder, so let me get back to it. Anyway, other than that, I use page protectors in my binder. So these are actually Project Life page protectors, and I'm gonna leave them linked down below, but I don't have any that are uncut, and so basically I cut these to make them fit into this binder, and then I just hole punch them. It's like a big 12 by 12 size, and so I just cut it in half, and then I like cut off one of the pockets at the bottom, and then I can hole punch them pretty easily. Once you look at the actual link, you'll you'll understand what I'm saying. I wish I had more that were uncut so I could show you guys, but I thought I did and I can't find them anywhere. So I'll probably find them in like five years. So, you know, that'll be fun. Anyway, other than that, I do use sticky notes in my binder sometimes. Obviously, I'm not right now. Basically, I use these smaller ones and I cut off all of the non sticky part and then I just write whatever it is and I'll like stick it on there. Um, I, there are other things you can use like, like post-it note in particular has like this tape that you can use. 
but I just have a bunch of these and so that's what I use. Um, I think that's it for setting up my binder, all of the things that I need. So before I start flipping through the binder and showing you guys everything that's in it, I wanted to go ahead and tell you all of the reasons that you need this binder in your stash. The number one is that it's convenient. So on an everyday basis, I can take this and carry it with me wherever I go. I also tend to kind of like work kind of like in my office split with like in my living room. So if I decide to like move desks for the rest of the day, it's just like one thing that I have to carry. And I also don't have to like go searching through multiple binders, trying to find a certain sticker and whatever. It's convenient. So that's number one. Number two is that it's portable. I kind of already talked about that. I can carry this with me to um, the coffee shop if I want. Anytime I travel, I always carry this binder with me and I usually will just like, say I'm gonna travel like across two weeks and so I need like a weekly kit for the second week. I'll just like slip it into this binder. It's not a big deal. And because you don't have to go searching through a bunch of stuff, it cuts down on your planning time. So I know for some of us, me included, if I had like all of my binders except for this one, I would be able to spend hours on my planner and like journaling and crafting and just, I don't have time. So in order to like kind of cut myself down on my time, this binder is everything. So so then the last reason that you need this binder in your stash is that it forces you to cycle through your stickers. So if you're anything like me, you have your favorites. Um, and you will use your favorite and then as soon as it's gone, like the sheet is empty, you end up just buying more of your favorite because it's your favorite. Um, instead of cycling through all of your stickers. So this one kind of like forces me because I have a rule that I have to use this, the stickers in this binder if there is an occasion to use the sticker, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual binder itself because I know that's the part you guys want to see. So with organization, I have it organized by most used toward the front. So all of my like really used stickers are toward the front and it goes all the way to the back where I have an extra couple of page protectors for the kits that I'm going to use and I'll talk about that later. My monthly stickers and then just like random stickers that I want to use like maybe I have like a special layout coming up which is usually why foil is brought in because it's special and I want to use foil. And then in the very back I have another page protector that just is kind of like a junk page protector. Like if somebody hands me a slip of paper I just stick it in here instead of sticking it in my planner. I don't really know why I do that but whatever. And then I also have a bunch of my dot grid paper and I actually that these stickers can come out. I need to put those in my like leftover stack or whatever. I'm going to talk about that another day. Anyway, I have a bunch of dot grid paper here just for my planner so that I can use it as I need it. So back to the front. Everything's organized, like I said, by my most used. This pocket is really just kind of like newer stuff or, um, these bigger sheets because normally if I have a bigger sheet like this, I will trim it down to fit in these little page protectors. Um, I just haven't yet. So they're sitting here. And then these little quote stickers are brand new in the shop. And then, oh, I also like anytime I finish a sticker sheet, I just slip the empty one in here so I can throw it away when I'm next to a trash can. So threw that away. And then these are some newer stickers from Bare Necessities that I need to actually put in like a haul stack because I need to do a sticker haul soon. So my number one tip for putting this binder together is like my number one tip for any organization system ever. And that is to work with yourself. So don't change your entire organization system based on my video because this is what works for me and you may be different. So what I mean by that is that for me, when I am planning, I normally think I need a character sticker that has a laptop or a computer because they're working. So I need a work sticker. However, 
if you are the type of person that says, I want a sticker from Creating Co. I want to use one of the stickers I have from Creating Co. Then instead of doing my exact organization system, I still think you should have an everyday binder, but do it by shop instead of by function. So the other thing, number one part of my binder is my use first pocket. So this is always the first pocket in my planner or in my binder. And it is filled with sticker sheets with just like small amounts of stickers on them. I even like took a bunch of sticker sheets and then just like added them all to this like sticker backing, which I literally all I did for this was like took an empty sticker sheet and like peeled the front of it off. And of course I'm not gonna be able to do it. So yeah, I just took an empty sticker sheet peeled the backing off and then stuck the stickers on there. Um, it works just fine. So that's what I do for in this pocket. And so if I ever have a sticker that I'm looking for, I try to look in this pocket first. That way I can kind of just get rid of like any like straggler sticker sheets with like one or two stickers on them. And then my next pocket is always my date dots because I use these every week regardless of how I'm planning. So I just also have these in here because I want to start using these more. These are just some like little minimal style stickers. There's a heart, a little bow, and then an exclamation point. And these are from Banana Doodles. And I tend to use these for like reminders and things when I remember to use them. So I'm trying to like remember to use them again. Um, and like I said, I just have a bunch of numbers in here for laying out the dates in my week. So the next little section is my work section. And like I said, I normally do label these pockets. I just haven't yet. And I kind of also don't really need to, so I might not because I kind of just know where the things are. So the first pocket is the pocket of character stickers for um, working or on a laptop or whatever. So we have a bunch. We have Skelly from my shop. We have Fox and Cactus, and that one can actually go in the use first. We have these, actually these aren't even the same. These aren't little characters. So I'm gonna put these in a different pocket. We have this one from Inspire Ever After, and then we have another Fox and Cactus, which can also go on my use first. And so this is another example. So I have duplicates of both of these sheets from Simply Me Kish. So these duplicates are actually gonna go in another binder. So as you can see, I will, like if I get a sticker order, I'll usually just slip them in this binder wherever they kind of go. Um, so sometimes I do have to go through this binder and just kind of like clean it out and like make sure I only have like a couple of options for character stickers because what will end up happening, I have a ton of characters for working on a computer or working on a laptop and because I use like five or six a week easily. And so I will like limit it to like two characters that are in this binder. So that way I don't just have like 15 sheets of different characters. I just have two. So then this next pocket is work related that is not working on a computer. So that's where these stickers need to go from Simply Me Kish. We have just this little one that has a laptop and a calculator and a pencil and that type of stuff. And then we have this other one that has more like sticker related tasks. We have this one from my shop that is, um, like packaging stickers or organizing stickers. We have this one that is just like little silhouette machines. We have these from Sugar Pop Fizz, these from Fox and Cactus, another one of just like organizing stickers or packaging. Some little mailers from my shop, another one from Fox and Cactus. So that's another duplicate. And then I have these from Willa Walla Co. that are really cute, but I always forget to use them. So these probably should go in the use first thing. So we're gonna slip all these back in here. And then this one is like supplies and stuff, more of like administrative type of things for the shop. So you have these from 
she used to be Grumpy Bear stickers, now she's Bear Necessity stickers. So we have these from Bear Necessities, they're just like little Amazon boxes, so I can use them for like when supplies come. I have these from Sweet Ava's Paper that is like a big stack of stickers and then some like washi and it's adorable. So then we also have these little washi tapes from Sugar Pop Fizz and then these from Simply Me Kish that is another kind of like supply um, delivery sticker. We have these that are social media related. So we have some YouTubes, Facebooks, Instagrams, and then a logo that I just kind of made for myself for my shop. So I can slip all that back in here. We have filming type of stickers. So you have these that I just made for myself. I need to release them to the shop, but I just haven't. And then we have podcast, um, filming a plan with me, and then another like camera sticker from Oh Hello Michelle. And then we get into my TV because I love TV. I love media in general. If you know my shop, you know this about me. I literally have a book and media club. So I love TV, I love movies, TV shows, books, all kinds of stuff. So I have a lot of TV stickers, I'm just warning you now. So we have these little TVs that are um, from my shop. Actually, those can go in the use first. And then this sheet is one of those that I was talking about before where I just like cut it in half to fit in this um, size pocket. I used to kind of like mix in some of the regular size like mini binders, the ones that are just like one um, pocket, but I just didn't for this one. I don't know. I just didn't. I don't, I might later. Uh, we have some little TV icons from my shop. We have the red ones, the green ones, the gray ones. These are for like watching YouTube on my TV because I do that like at least once a day usually. <laughs> and then we have these dark blue ones. So yeah, I just have like all of these. They're all still in the shop um, because I watch a lot of TV, like I said. <laughs> And then I also have some characters that are watching TV because I like to have options. So My Shop, Sweet Ava's Paper, Fox and Pip, um, More Avenue. This one says, yes, Netflix, I'm still here because I say that probably every day. A lot of times with Netflix too, I'll just kind of like put something on and let it play while I'm working so that there's just kind of like ambient noise and so sometimes that's why. And then we have this new Skelly character from my shop. So the other role that I have with this binder is that I can only put in a few options. So technically if I was to go through my sticker binder today I might remove a couple of these so that I will use up the main ones that I want to use first and then I have to go and shop my like backup functional binder before I order any more stickers so yeah there's that but I am going to tell you that with the character stickers I do have my favorites and so yeah, sometimes I will just order character stickers um, before I go and chop my other stash. So, yeah, there's that. And then I also have some like just TV stickers that you are maybe like watching with your significant other. These from Fox and Pip. And sometimes I will actually just like cut out the part of like the little couple on the couch and I'll just like cut around it so that I can use um, like one of my TVs. So that's just something I tend to do sometimes. And then we have Night In with my boo from River and Ink. I don't use these very much, but I really should. Um, a lot of the time I will just end up using most of our like night ends or watching a movie. And so I'll usually just like use a movie marquee or something like that. And then we have my simming stickers, which I need some more of. I actually have like newer designs that I need to get for myself. So these are all from me and it's EXO playing sims, these little plum bobs with just keep simming, and then a game loading sticker. And then we have book stickers. Book stickers are another that I have way too many stickers for. This video is already impossibly long so yeah sorry about that. I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Um, so we have Sugar Pop Fizz, Inspire Ever After. These are just kind of like 
books. I actually need to, these were all misprints and I need to like put them all in my other stash so that I will actually not have a gazillion in here. Then we have characters reading and I am going to try to go through these other ones kind of quickly. So yeah, just hold on tight, I guess. Anyway, we have EXO reading, this one from Fox and Pip. I have a few from Fox and Pip. And then we have Inspire Ever After. Because it's a bubble bath reading and I always read in the bathtub. That's like one of my spots. So obviously I needed these stickers. I have some Skelly stickers and then these other ones from Fox and Pip. And I really should take a couple of these characters out, but I'll do that off camera because now that I've like, noticed how long this video has been. I'm trying to like, you know, speed up. We have some comic stickers because I love comics. I actually have a couple of like backups of each of these three sticker sheets from Fox and Cactus because I just really like them. And so I have a few backups. And then we also just have like some comic stickers that I had in my shop last year. I have some newer ones that are more neutral that I need to put in here. Then we have some planning stickers. We have Paper and Thread, who is actually about to rebrand and be Sweet Ava's Paper again. We have Inspire Ever After. We have some journaling stickers and then some like little craft stickers from Sugar Pop Fizz. So this one's kind of like more planning and paper crafting type of thing. We have writing stickers because I actually need to get back to writing, but I was writing four days a week. Um, anyway, we have Oh Hello Michelle. Shine Sticker Studio, My Shop, Sugar Pop Fizz, and then we have some from Fox and Pip, and then I think the rest is just me. Yeah, so I have a lot of options. I probably should take some of them out. That seems to be the theme for this video. Um, we have like sale type of stickers. So we have Paper and Thread. This says, Here Lies My Money. We have another paper and thread, Inspire Ever After, and Fox and Pip because these are freaking adorable. And I just kind of use these whenever I shop a big sale. We have Lazy Day, but these are like more couch related stickers and actually that needs to go in a different section. So we have Fox and Cactus, paper and thread, and these are just kind of like I'm really tired but I'm still awake type of stickers. And these probably should go in a different one too. Well, no, we'll, we'll leave them in here. And then these are for like sleeping. So naps or sleeping in or if I mess up my sleep schedule because I have insomnia, so I tend to do that a lot, then I put these in there because I kind of like try to like track and see trends to like when I mess up my sleep schedule. So you have Oh Hello, Michelle, Paper and Thread, and Fox and Pip. And then we have bath stickers because like I said, I take baths. So we have Fox and Cactus. These from Oh Hello Michelle, it's just kind of like a sampler. So I just stuck it in here. These from Shine Sticker Co. that were from the sticker book from Michaels that are also kind of just a little sampler. So I stuck them in here. And then from my shop. And then I have some like build your squad type of stickers from Fox and Pip. So we have ones that are kind of like me and Cody, which is my husband. We have game night. Um, and then we have, and then we have these that are just kind of like the build your squad stickers. So you can kind of like put when you're going out with your friends or whatever. That's how I use it anyway. Um, then the next one is hair washing because I tr finally used 2020 to train my hair to not need washing every day. So I try to like stick to a schedule because if I mess it up, then it's just done forever. <laughs> so I don't want to mess it up. So we have paper and thread, inspire ever after. We also have these haircut stickers from a shop that is closed now. It's Red Fawn Designs and I'm pretty sure she's still closed. Um, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she is. Anyway, we have these like wax melter type of stickers as well from Inspire Ever After. These are kind of like hair washing slash just like personal hygiene. I don't know. Melting wax isn't personal hygiene, but for some reason it fits in there in my opinion. I don't know whatever. Um, we have these little doctor stickers. I do have a bunch of other like doctor type stickers. Um, but 
they're all in my backup functional binder. So, yeah. We have laundry slash chores. So we have Fox and Cactus. This is Simply Me Kish and it's um, like ordering meds and stuff. Then we have dishes from Fox and Cactus. We have these from Willa Walla Co, which I always forget to use. And I really think they're adorable. So this is also like errands. So like Michael's or Target. And then we have vacuum and clean. And then we have these little dog stickers from Fox and Cactus because I just use them if there's something related to my dog. Um, like if we take him to the vet or um, I need to like go and pick up his food or whatever. And then we have birthday stickers that I just kind of slipped in here on their own. They could probably be in my use first pocket, um, but I was always looking for my birthday stickers and I couldn't find them. They were originally in this one, I think. Um, and so I just put them in their pocket on their own. Then we have headache stickers, which is where this one needs to go. So we have paper and thread, my shop, and then oh hello Michelle. We just have a bunch of different options because I get chronic migraines. And then we have some like, just like little quote type of stickers. And it says, it's okay to do nothing and I deserve a sheet of gold stars from Inspire Ever After because I am trying to really like encourage myself this year when I do like good habits. So I have those. We have some little emoji type of stickers. This one's from Shine Sticker Studio. We have Oh Hello Michelle. Paper and Thread, Fox and Cactus, more, and then more Oh Hello Michelle and Shine Sticker Studio. And I just use these if I need like an emoji type sticker. We have these, which is like congratulatory stuff for myself. <laughs> so we have Sugar Pop Fizz. I don't really know why this one's in there, but it's in there. We have Mental Health Day from Moore Avenue, and then these from Fox and Cactus. And I will admit to the back part of my binder, which is where we are now, it is a little bit less organized than the front part because I don't use these stickers as much. And so they tend to not really all fit into a certain type of category. So I just kind of do stuff. I don't know. We have these that are just kind of like dumpster fire type things. So we have it's tea o'clock from Inspire Ever After, dumpster fires from River and Ink, and then some script stickers from myself for when. I use these mostly in 2020 when things would pop off. So yeah. We have these that are just kind of like side eye type of stickers. I don't know. Inspire Ever After because RAR is side eye. We have this one from Paper and Thread or Sweet Ava's Paper. These and then um, Fox and Pip and then these from Inspire Ever After that are like cursing little dinos. So then the next one is like anxiety type of stickers and I limit myself to two of these from Fox and Cactus. I do have some other characters that are like anxious but they're in my backup binder. And then we have moon phases which I really only mark the full moon. <laughs> so I don't use most of these stickers um, but they're here. And I probably should go and update my monthly section in my planner with like the next few months of full moons. We have some work related script stickers. So we have pack orders, day off and design. I had some other ones, um, but I ran out and I haven't replaced them yet. And then we have some other like work related that I don't use very much. So we have upload for like uploading videos, but normally I'll just use like a YouTube icon. We have new releases and then take pictures for Instagram. And then we have some more script stickers. We have read, lots of read, journal, planning sessions, happy mail, write book reviews, and then to like record how many words I wrote that day. Some of these could probably go in other sections, but I'll do that later. And then we have some therapy script stickers from Sugar Pop Fizz that get their own pocket. <laughs> and we have some other ones, Buckle Up Buttercup from Sugar Pop Fizz. We have just like some sarcastic ones from More Avenue. So we have this one, and then this one, this one. We have, I think all of these are pretty much from More Avenue, and they're just kind of like, sarcastic quote stickers that I might want to use. And so then this one's also from Inspire Ever After. Then we have some more like positive type ones. We have Strive for 
progress, not perfection. Then some from more avenue that all cut like all of the more avenue sheets kind of have a couple of sayings, which is why I'm not like reading them all off to you. These are kind of like work related quote stickers. So then we have these little washi tape strips from Sugar Pop Fizz that just kind of went in here for some reason. I don't know. We have a sampler of quotes from Cricut Paper Co. We have weather stickers. I'm pretty sure all of these are weather. I don't normally write down weather in my planner unless it's like a tornado or a snowstorm or maybe like a severe thunderstorm that like knocks out our power. Then, I'll, then I might actually write it in my planner. We have these little like symbols. These are foiled from Inspire Ever After. And I would kind of use these in the same way that I would use the ones at the front of my planner, just like for reminders or whatever. But they're here. I don't really know. We have some just like miscellaneous things. So we have these little footnote stickers from um, Lily's little cover that I love. We have some more like little just shape stickers. I should probably put that in this little section. And then we have some exercise stickers that I don't use very often. So that's why they're at the very back of my planner. And then I have some just like die cut stickers that I might use um, like for journaling. So these are all like die cut, but they're they are sticker papers, so I can peel the backing off and stick them in my planner. So I just have a bunch of random ones in here for whenever I want to use them. And then I have some extra page protectors that I could honestly probably take out. And then this one, I typically will put kits that I want to use like over the next few weeks in my planner. So if I sit down at the beginning of the month and I pick all of the kits I wanna use that month, I'll stick them in here. I don't do that every month, which is why it's empty right now. We have my monthly kits that just have all of the like labels on them because I need to use labels every now and then. And then, like I said, we just have some extra foil stickers that I might use for like a special event or whatever. I want to say these are all from Cricut Paper Co. Yeah. So these are, I don't remember what bundle. Oh, I guess this was her Cricut Miss bundle. So I have these. She has different bundles at different times of the year. So yeah, and then I already explained the back pocket. So that is pretty much it for this binder. I know this was a long video. So if you stayed till the end, comment something about dinosaurs. I don't know. <laughs> I am in a weird mood today, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some helpful tips and like convinced you why you need an everyday binder in your organization system. I swear it will be way more convenient to plan with stickers in your planner if you have an everyday binder. Um, and obviously, if you don't have a big sticker collection like I do, I've been planning for over six years. So obviously, I have accumulated a collection. But if you don't have enough to like maybe separate it into multiple binders, I would like make a section in my sticker binder or however you organize your stickers that are like, these are the stickers that I use all the time or that I want to use up. And so use those first and then use the rest of your stash or whatever. Definitely just take this idea and make it work for you. Don't feel like you have to like create this exact binder. It's totally fine if you don't or if you just like enjoyed watching this because you like watching organization videos. Anyway, I'm gonna go. So hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Comment down below about dinosaurs and also stickers and all kinds of fun stuff whatever. I want to hear from you. And then also subscribe if you haven't already because I will be back with another video. Bye!